a 6'3 junior from Leaving, Australia, Tim Jesse Edwards. Duties for right now for Minnesota. Hubbard, a nice look and the finish from Jesse Edwards. But that's just good defense. Coming in, getting a hand straight up. There they go Edwards way again. Now Jesse Edwards standing at six feet, three inches tall. The comment that uh, Deja Morris made about why choose Army. It takes a special kind of person to, to do that as Jess Edwards gets two more points. Training. There's a lot of physical training. But you know what? The bond is so strong. Not only with all the cadets, but then when you add... Both teams. Edwards up near the basket. I don't think they've let the shot clock go, but we've made 20. There's Wagner for three, a long three indeed, fell short. Edwards picks it up after being bounced around, and Edwards drains it in for her third and fourth points. That is partially the explanation for why they haven't been able to get to the charity stripe. And so uh, Minnesota has ultimately prevented that because of their length and size, but same size. Here's Carly Wagner along the base, pulling up, taking a shot that rolls around a bit. And Edwards gets the rebound and draws the end one. It's a, it's a tough play there for Marinkovic. Marinkovic was sized up against Edwards. I mean, there is a significant height advantage there, and Edwards able to power up easily and have a shot at a three-point play. Edwards up near the basket, standing at 6'3". She's got a little different of a situation than Carly Wagner does, but this is still impressive. A 580 field goal percentage last year. Yeah. Went for fourth best ever with this program. And grad students with them. Yeah, nine newcomers, I believe, is the That's right. total number. A couple of red shirts, a couple of players. As well as Hubbard is performing today. Makes you excited that she's got three more years yeah. after this upcoming conference season that's yeah. coming. Marlene Stallings in her third year with the program, building something good perhaps in Minnesota. Edwards to the line for the Gophers. Edwards one for one with free throws this afternoon. Up to 10 rebounds. Double-double for her with 11 points as well, now made 12. Second one is good as well. Edwards, five for six from the field, two for two from the line. And didn't I tell you, David, she is so good shooting. Yeah. Wagner this time. Three-point shot is... Uh, so the biggest thing you learned about the short WNBA season that you were a part of was what? Uh, the physicality and the speed is obviously a is her choice. They contemplated bringing out a stool for her there on the sideline. A look for Bell. A second look for Edwards. Oh. That won't fall. How about a third look? She's persistent. Wagner waits for the screen on the right side, driving left in the lane, now getting all the way to the hoop. Missed the layup. Edwards there to clean it up and put it home. Running the point for the Gophers, gives the star on the left wing. Now to Hedstrom on the left side. Underneath for Edwards, back out front for Star. Drives right in the lane, back to Edwards, left in the lane. Lays it up, no, but a foul. Alina Star looks for that post player. So then she's my favorite player, Corbu. You're so easy to read, Lynette. <laughs> if you rebound and if you pass to a post player, Lynette will love you forever. I just want that dimension of the game to be there. So if you're looking to get on Lynette's good side, pass the ball to her. <laughs> yeah, that was that always did. <laughs> Edwards first free throw is good. Another one coming for the junior. She hits them both. A nice lay in there. Yeah, Tingem and Edwards got tangled in each other's feet at the other end, and so number 13 for the Crimson, Fame. She's got an easy look at the basket. Looks like Jesse Edwards, Jesse Edwards was fouled. She tried to go up. For the layup there and she'll be heading to the line more on jesse edwards as i was mentioning she is from leaming australia she did transfer from a school called Curtin university and she appeared in every game last season for the gophers and she was seventh in the big ten for block shots last season 
And she's also tied for minute, fourth in Minnesota history for single season field goal percentage at 58%. So very tall and very versatile player for the Golden Gophers. She is a junior. Saw in uh, Taye Bello, one of the twin sister freshmen here from Minnesota, and, and you were talking about Edwards, and one of the things that Minnesota has. Robert on the break, but she was, the ball's kind of slowed her down. Wagner, nice drive from Wagner, just rimming off the back of the rim. But it was put back by Edwards, was at the right position at the right time, and put that one back. Great play defensively. Uh, a good job of, of catching up with the very quick Carly Wagner. So nice work there. It's Edwards and able to get the and one. Edwards making a nice drive to the lane there, and she'll be going to the line for a three-point opportunity. Just increasing this Minnesota lead to 16. Fantastic drive by her. Just They have not been able to stop. Harvard's inside game has just been able to, not able to stop some of these drives from Minnesota. With about 2.20 to go here in this first quarter. Underneath Edwards, but was clearly fouled by Illinois. Minnesota up by one, under two, about two minutes to go here in this first quarter. Low scoring quarter, as we have talked about. Edwards will be shooting two. First one sails through. Jesse Edwards getting her first point of the day on that free throw. See if she make it two. This will be the Gophers' eighth free throw already. Covering the second quarter. I mean, for what it's worth, they're winning this quarter nine to five. Yeah, that's, that definitely is an improvement There's from the first quarter. They almost scored nearly as much for the call. Nice high nice. pass to inside Edwards for the lay-in. Tindrum hitting Edwards. She knew she was open. Especially to Carly Wagner. And by the way, a moment ago, a big three-point shot made by Petra Holoshinska. The Czech freshman. You see Jesse Edwards hitting the shot and the foul. So she'll be going into the line to shoot one more and try to complete the three-point play. Jesse Edwards is eight points on the day. She's been to the stripe once, it's two for two. And it is good. She is three for three on the day. So 10th in three pointers. Rebound got there by Edwards, number 10. One, nine point lead here at Carver Hawkeye. There we go, good job by Edwards there. Her range is just impeccable. No surprise here, Jan Koska leads the Spartans with eight points and a quick answer. And after those turnovers, they have got to get back and just like that they did. Spartans have a double digit lead for the first time. Here goes the Aussie, spins off Reimer. Really impressed tonight with the unflappable Jesse Edwards, Big Ten Player of the Week back on December 19th. Sixth man of the game thus far for the Gophers. Cut that deficit to nine, and there's an offensive foul drawn by, guess who? Edwards drew it against Jankoska. Next dead ball, and we'll take the media timeout. Edwards has barely left the court. Found Bell open on the wing. Hard lead back up to double digits. Largest lead was 12 earlier in the third quarter. Gophers led this game by eight in the second. Edwards has the answer, 12 points tonight. She leads all scorers. Let's go along with Brandy Agee's team high, 30 points. Edwards and one. On the right point, handling it over there is Hedstrom. Hedstrom off the pick in the top of the key, plays it for Bell at the left wing. Bell with 13 to shoot, guarded by Cooper. Dribbles foul line, leans, throws it underneath, wide open. Edwards at the left block, laid it in. Longest Ohio State's missing. Bell at the head of the circle, but gives it now top of the key for Edwards. Right wing open, three-point shot by Wagner. Won't go. Long rebound at the foul line for Edwards. Back. So being able to draw the defenders and then finding the person on that low block. And great job by the post player stepping up. You want to step up as a post player. You want to come to the ball. 
Full court pressure by Ohio State, but the Gophers beat it down the floor. Edwards gets it to the left block, and then Tori McCoy hits her in the head and fouls her. And it'll be two shots line left for Jesse Edwards of Minnesota. Well, you know, Matt, there's that fine line of sealing that defender and then showing those hands and making sure that you're coming back to be able to seal that defense on your backside. Tied at two and line left, two free throws. For number zero, or beg your pardon, for uh, number 10, Jesse Edwards, a senior from the junior center from Leeming, Australia, 60% free thrower, she hits the first. Has all three Minnesota points. And the second one rolls in. She is three feet off the floor. She was feeling that one when she pulled up for that jumper. Career three, number 300. Alexa Hart the other way goes for a block shot of Edwards and is going to be called for a foul. Or is it on uh, Cooper? It's one or the other. It's going to go on Shayla Cooper of Ohio State. Her first, the fourth on the Buckeyes. Mitchell. Edwards line left. A 60% foul shooter missed the first of two. She hit a pair a moment ago. 16 to 6, the Ohio State lead. The run is 14 to 2. That free throw good for Edwards, and she has five of the Gophers' six points. 2.53 to play first quarter. Inbounds pass dropped to the left block for Edwards, who banked it in. Nice inbounds baseline play in 63. First quarter ticks left. Buckeyes lead it by 10. The Gophers break the pressure. Edwards gets it low left, throws it on top. Open heads from three. Got it. Top of the key. Now that, they step with the other, and that's exactly what happened in that situation. Gophers break pressure. Edwards catches it to the right block, wraps around with the left hand, score. Nice play as she put it in on McCoy. Into the front court to Wagner, right wing. She tries the three. That's off the rim, no good. Rebound, loose. Edwards picks it up, lays it up. No, but she is fouled. Three Badgers around Jesse Edwards, and she came away with it. That's good to see, Parker, because sometimes that, the uh, opposite of that is happening. So love to see Jesse Edwards coming back to full strength. I'm assuming she is at full strength if she's starting today. Gophers would love to get Carly Wagner going from behind the arc. For the season, she is down to 29% from deep. First one from Edwards is good. She is at 12.5% in conference play from behind the arc. Second one from Edwards, good. She hits them both. Right, weaving through traffic to Hedstrom. Left corner wants three. That's no good. Rebound to Edwards. 30 seconds to play. Finds Wagner cutting to the hoop and lays it up and in. Wagner Assist to Jesse Edwards. From Jesse Edwards. That's what you Jesse Edwards scoring. The Wisconsin personal number 24, Malena Johnson. That is her second personal third team foul. At the line 10, Jesse Edwards and one. Bell on the outside left to the left corner. Wagner wants three. She missed it. Rebound goes to Edwards and she Jesse plays it up and Jesse Edwards in. scoring. Out of play for the Badgers. Jesse Edwards with the offensive rebound and she barely skims it over the top. I mean, it had to have. The